Hey there, Bricksters and Lego friends. I am here with my thoughts and opinions on this particular set. It is set 41339, the Lego Friends Camper. Now, we bought this actually for my dad for Christmas because he likes building and it's good for his hands and dexterity, of course. So, he put this together, so I don't know the building aspect of it, how well it went together, but it looks pretty good. He, I know he did have a few issues here and there with it, and he said he wished that it was designed a little better. But needless to say, let's get down to the nitty gritty of it and go over what I think of this particular set. So we'll go to the smaller details first. First we have a little tent. Now this little tent is pretty neat. It's a plastic type of tent. It's not a cloth tent like they used to have. Now there's no open openings in it except that these things fold in and out like right there. Now inside, there is like two, um, see if we can get it going here. Inside there is like two little uh, sleeping bags and like a little nightstand for each type of thing. And that's really cool. One, she has a bow on the top and the drinking bottle on the other one. So if we open the other end, it just popped open. We'll just take the end off it so you can see what it looks like. There it is. That's pretty unique. It's pretty cool. There's lots of detail on the inside. It's not a bare tent on a base type of thing. So that's pretty neat. So we'll just put that aside for now. Also comes this neat little um, signpost type of thing. And um, it's neat in this aspect that up on the top it has a flat tile that looks like a log with a printed log on it. So that's pretty neat. Um, and a flower, of course, on the thing. Now, these are stickers, and, of course, everyone knows my opinion on stickers. They're not the best. They should be printed, but that's what Lego does, of course. And then, a horse is a horse, of course, of course. The famous Mr. Fred. Actually, it's Mr. Ed, but anyway, um, this horse is pretty cool, and it's got, like, a different type of harness on it. So, it's flexible. It's sort of like a rubber. Now, they put the mold piece again um, that you could put something like a, a saddle type thing in the middle of it but then they put this particular uh, rounded brick two by two or yeah it's, and uh, just to finish off the horse but the horse is a matte finish and that brick is glossy so it's kind of like bizarre looking but it is what it is right um, really cool little horse nice detail it's different from the Lego horses this is the friends horse um, it has more detail, I think. The only thing is, it doesn't have articulated legs or head or anything. So, you know, that's one downfall of that particular horse. Now, we also get a tree. And it's an apple tree, I believe, because there's an apple on it. And, of course, there's the part that fits on the horse. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> so, we'll, let's just take that off and look. There's the helmet hat um, hair piece. And that's all rubber, but that would go on one of the friend's mini dolls. And she's like the horse rider. So uh, we'll just bring back Mr. Horse here. And we'll just pop his middle part out. And we'll put this particular piece on. And I think it will go this way. And there's the saddle. So yeah, I knew there had to be um, a saddle that they made for that horse. I don't think the other saddles would work. Of course they might. Um, it has the groove in the middle, so the friend's mini dolls... Um, will fit in there and they can't really sit but they can stand and pretend that they're riding the horse galloping away holding that harness so that's kind of cool anyway let's get back to this looks like might have some hay there for the horse and it's an apple tree and of course horses like apples so why not would you have an apple tree and it's got a little water trough there as well and a flower up in front so that's really cool the little well-built tree the only thing was, there was a miscolored piece that was put in this set, and I think this is one my dad pointed out, was right up here on top of the tree. You can see the lime green piece here, and like the light blue piece here, the tiles, two by one tiles. These should be both green. Unfortunately, he did not have the proper green. They never had one. They had a blue in the box instead. This is a mistake that Lego's been making a lot of lately, putting wrong colored pieces in. Now, I've been talking to the local rep, and she had mentioned to me as well, she had bought the set of the 
Mr. and Mrs. Claus that I did a video on just around before Christmas and how the pieces were the wrong colors. And she said hers was exactly the same. So it is, uh, I guess, a packaging fault. Uh, they know about it. They've been told. I mean, at least the rep told them about it. Um, so it, it, it is happening. Um, why? I don't know. The quality control at Lego for packaging, it seems to be kind of bad lately. So just be careful if you get the wrong color parts or the wrong parts. I've been missing parts. I've been getting the wrong color parts lately. It's really kind of unacceptable. But anyway, I think they know about it. Let's hope they do. Anyway, that was one problem with it, but it's still pretty cool. Now, if we have a lime green two by one tile, we can easily substitute that in. And I mean, I got a bunch of them, so that can be easily substituted. But for this purpose, I wanted to leave it to show you what it was going on. Now, here we have like a little picnic table, which is kind of cool with the seats with a foldable back on it, as well as a detachable chairs, which I just detached. It has two sandwiches. Uh, it looks like maybe mustard and relish and this could be hot dogs or something I'm not really sure or ham and pickles or something on there and we have a drink cup which is really cool for your minifigure to have and it is on a purple table now this is square this is reminiscent of a square picnic table not so much you would have a round one in a park I would like to have seen the round table here however that's okay because in a park they're square they're not round if you're at a restaurant yes they're round but since you're in an RV park type of thing these would be square as your picnic table so that's more of a modern style picnic table now if we move on to the camper itself now my dad really loved campers he has had an RV most of his life and uh, I remember traveling in RVs and I loved them I mean I grew up in them and um, when we had two like this Actually, we had three like this style. The last one did not not have a cabin in the top, um, but the two before that did, and that's where I used to like to bunk it. That was my favorite spot right up there. Um, anyway, we never had a raft or anything like that. We weren't into rafting. Uh, but let's just look at the, some of the detail here. This is really cool. It has an awning on it right here because all RVs have awnings, so that's really, really cool. Now, I guess it can fold up like that, but I guess if you want to take it off the drive, you instead of folding it up, you would take this off. Um, in real life, it just folds up. Um, it has a door on here with a nice pink handle and some steps along the bottom so your mini figures can crawl up into the cabin part of the, of the camper. Now it has some windows here and you can see into the kitchen and also the front you can see um, through as well and you can see uh, the bed and that up there through the top window as well. On this side you have the driver's seat and the table uh, where they eat at and some kitchen utensils and maybe the bedroom washroom in the back. Now this design of the wheels not sure exactly where this came from this is probably because it's like a, of a longer rv or supposed to be of a longer rv now most of the rvs we had of this size up to 27 feet had dual wheels in the back but not tandems they were just duals okay um so what i mean by that there's like two wheels side by side in the back for the extra weight um so this one here i'm going to say is upward in the 35 foot um, 36 foot range where you need the extra wheels uh, quite possibly in real life of course um, and they scaled it down here but it looks pretty cool um, although it looks a little bit bulky here actually to come to the right size probably it should be out to about here to uh, resemble that in real life and the wheels could be back and they could be like closer together side by side without this piece in the middle however that's okay on the back we have a ladder and we have some stickers uh, I love Heart Lake City I love horseshoes um, some mountains and some other stuff and of course the turn signals and brake lights now one thing I noticed that on the back I don't really care for is this gray brick this gray brick is the hinge that holds this door closed on the side and this door is open to the side to get in access to the side. And I'll show you in just a second. But they use that as the clip to hold that side door open. Now, I don't know why they did that there. 
they could have moved it back in a bit um, or used a white one instead of the gray if they had moved it back one um, you may have lose a little bit of access in the inside but it would look better um, but then the window here would have to be moved down uh, once once uh, one brick in order to accommodate moving this clip down one in order to fit it into the uh, clip in there however I just don't like that there it looks very ugly so whoever designed this this is ugly um, of course for most people that are going to play with it that's fine but for collectors and that it's ugly okay my dad collects these things so this is why he has this now we shall open the side door here and it goes right around to the side to open up to the inside which is really cool because you have like your little washroom there and um, some toiletries and that by that window there and there is a door inside I'll show you in a second and then we go into the kitchen and whatnot right in the middle so we can actually take the roof off because it is just held on by a couple studs here and there so we'll hold that open and you can see inside for, for greater detail I really think it's cool that this has such access to it it's really really good now um, we can take the front cabin off as well and you can access the whole cabin of the main floor of this particular vehicle I think it's great I think there's lots of playability here um, you know you got nice tables and chairs and sofas and it's well colored uh, with the friends colors with the pink and all that so it's really nice I really like it um, some of the details like on the, the sofa they are stickers on the uh, sofa chairs there and of course if you don't know in real life most of the um, table chair combinations like you see right here fold the table folds down and it makes a bed so there's one bed there for them as well as the two beds up here and the two beds out there so they could have like Potentially six friends could go on a little mini vacation here and have a good time and be comfortable Trust me. I've slept on many beds like that because we had many of them like that I slept on many of them I've slept up top and I've slept in a tent so I know what it's like to camp and I really do enjoy it um, Of course, you've got some food stuff there some cherries and a juicer uh, Pineapple and banana for you know your juicing and stuff now in the back here it may be kind of hard to see I'll go this way is a door Leading into the bathroom so you can have some privacy in the bathroom But one thing I think I would have liked to have seen was a sticker on this door because Lego uses stickers of course the one time I think there should be a sticker used um, is on this door because it is a privacy thing and you know you don't want to use the washroom or have a shower and people looking at you so even a little shower curtain across it like type of thing but it is what it is you know it's a good set I also like the detail in the whoops there she falls over the driver's seat um, they have like a slanted brick up there and uh, it's like a two by one slant cheese wedge and it has some dials in that uh, stickered on it and that is for the um, console type of thing and a gear shift but oddly enough there is no steering wheel is this an autonomous vehicle who knows maybe it will be in a few years time hmm Lego what are you trying to say making autonomous vehicles now are we hmm okay we'll go with that hey why not so let's put our little friend back into the driver's seat oh maybe it's remote control because she has this walkie-talkie thing. So maybe she's driving remote control here. And it's really not the easiest thing to get her back in. And the table falls off, so we'll stick that back on. And we'll close up there. And let's get to the, the bunk bed area. Now the bunk bed area also has access through the top because it flips open like that. So if you're playing with it like that, you can gain access this way as well but it does slip open it's really cool she's got a couple beds in there and a little lamp in that so you know you want to read your novel or something when you go to bed you have to have a lamp now this does come off and this particular little orange raft um, will float yes they will float um, 
but not if you're going to really ram it through the water. But it will lightly sit on top of the water and will float. I don't know if it will float with many figures. Don't want to even try it. But we're not going to be floating that. So, And we can put that back on the top here. Now I was wondering why there was no studs here. Uh, along here to hold it down. There could be one there. I would have liked to see one here for extra stability. But that being said... Um, I gotta move him back one because I was actually off. Okay, there we go. Um, there's no studs on this side of the, to hold the roof because then the door would not swing open. So that actually makes sense. Okay, so that part makes sense. So then we can just lower these down like so. And if you only want one open at a time, you could probably remove these things here on the top that hold them right across, and you could just you know open one at a time type of thing. But this, but these uh, tiles actually finish the top of this off, so it's not too bad. It's pretty finished off. There's some uh, mirrors here on the sides, and um, let me see if there's any other uh, things that I would add. There are other things that I would add to this, uh, being an RVer, but for playability and stuff like that, for the normal. Um, kit here as it sells as this uh, I probably wouldn't but for display purposes and for collectors and if you're into the RV and scene um, there'd be things that I would add like you know the electrical outlets the sewer the uh, water piping on the outside and that just to make it more authentic that's me that's something that you can add on extra and you know you can call it sort of a mock if you want um, I built one like that very detailed and I actually took it apart but um, you can get into those things and mock these things up and that's the whole fun of it right use this as a base and then go from there so that's just a suggestion if you really want to get into the detail of things um, so that about wraps it up um, for this wonderful little friend set and um, i'm going to leave you guys with the, the thought in your head of camping and springtime coming up and i will talk to you guys again in the next video Take care and talk to you soon. That's about it for me today. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you'll know the next time we upload a video. Take care and I'll talk to you guys again in the next video very shortly.